Uh, good afternoon. Nice to see you guys again here in our weekly meeting. A um, couple tough results, obviously one here against Texas, one against Florida. Um, learning a lot about the group uh, individually and collectively uh, against a really high standard. So, so happy about what I'm learning and the speed in which I'm learning it. And that's probably the primary message to the team is you don't want to find these things out in October and November when there's not a whole lot of time to fix them. So um, again, mostly attribute the results due to great competition and, and a team that's coming together and, and learning to play at a high standard. What has stood out, I guess, in those, those last two matches to you? I know you're still getting to know this team, but what has really stood out to you in those two losses? Yeah, uh, I think how people respond under duress is a big deal, right? And um, even having a spring together or having fall camp together, it's, it's a different scenario when you're in this environment playing great opponents in, in kind of what feel almost like December matches. And, and so you're paying really close attention. You're trying to give some guidance and direction on, on what are the best practices in, in, in those moments. But um, most of all, learning just, all right, who needs what in, in each situation and, and how do they work together uh, in those high pressure situations. I think four of the seven sets were decided by three points or less. Mm -hmm. and, th and that's the kind of margins that we're going to start seeing. Feel kind of like a one-two punch now, going out west again, just, yeah. just to see two more really good teams. Yeah, it doesn't get any easier. Stanford, mm -hmm. Oregon, really, really, again, I know them well. Top-level programs that will teach us even more about ourselves. You know, I think what was hard about the Florida match is we did some things significantly better uh, than we did against Texas. We learned in a short period of time, you know, both in terms of receiving the ball at a higher level, attacking with more intention, but they were great. And, and so even though you're learning, uh, there's not a whole lot of room when you're playing great opponents. Sure. You mentioned the closeness of some of those uh, sets. Do you feel like you're close? I mean, if you, you have hope in terms of competing against those top 10 caliber teams with what you see? Yeah, well, already using the hope word here, four games in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just hanging on, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, I think what was challenging about the Florida match is, is although the scores were close, they weren't, uh, they weren't close early, right? And we had to chase those teams down a little bit. And so, I don't know, I, I see potential, I see growth. Um, I don't know, I think a lot of times winning can can hide some of your weakness and, and losing can hide some of your progress. And so our job as coaches is to show them uh, the parts of the game where, where there is improvement and where there needs to be more. How beneficial is the familiarity with your next two opponents? Yeah, it probably can get us around the city into the right restaurants, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Uh, there's certainly both teams return a significant number of players, which I've coached against for four or five years in some circumstance. So you know, better the enemy you know than the one you don't. So there's some things that I hope th that they'll take my word for because I've lived it uh, a number of times. Uh, and so hopefully that can be an advantage for us that they're not uh, new, new opponents. What have you seen from Phoebe these first four games? Yeah, what have I seen from her? C consistency in terms of just her, her, the way she plays the game, a real steadiness, you know. Um, she obviously can, can lead to some really exciting moments, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Um, but just a consistency of person, right, that, that I know what I'm going to get night in and night out in terms of her behaviors, whether things are going well or not going well, uh, whether she's under duress or feeling comfortable, a real, real sense of maturity. Someone who really knows themselves at this point in their career, knows what their strengths are, knows what they're not. And, and I think, uh, yeah, I'd love for her teammates to, to observe that and, and see her maturity. Yeah, really cool. Yeah. How do you process losses? What is that like for you as a coach? Uh, it doesn't involve a lot of sleep, <laughs> which is probably what most coaches would say. Uh, what I tell myself is just see it as it is, right? See it as it is. Um, and, and never step away from, from long-term development, right, for, for short-term gain. Um, it's about the athletes. It's about them and their growth and their development. And whenever I'm doing my best work, I've got that at the forefront here. Um, yeah, it's, it's fun. I've never felt such urgency uh, four matches into a season before as, as I feel now. And so it's easy to show up and easy to go to work. And, um, but yeah, the development of our, you know, our primary group is the most important thing to me. Anything else for Coach? All set. Thanks. Appreciate your time, wow. Coach. Thank you. Maybe I imagine coming off two wins would be better than two losses. But what, sure. what's energy like with everyone right now? And I imagine uh, some learning has taken place here early on. Yeah, 100%. I think we are ready to get back in the gym. Um, we don't have that much time before we play our next couple matches, so I think we're focusing on the future and seeing how we can just work on what we need to work on and get back at it and hopefully come out with two more wins from this next weekend. This next two matches, mm -hmm. I mean, to go from Texas and Florida to Stanford, Oregon, I mean, 
I imagine good to be playing tough teams like that right yeah. out of the gate like this. I think it's a like it's just showing. I think Keegan planned our season like this just for us to see where we would be at. And I think we're learning a lot throughout this process about what it takes to be a good team and what we need to do in order to achieve our goals at the end of the season. And so I think whatever we do, we're going to keep working, we're going to keep grinding, and we're going to show everybody what go for volleyball looks like. Vicky, what's the biggest benefit of having a challenging non-con like you guys do? I think it just prepares us just for conference as well. I think our conference is the toughest conference, and we're going to face – teams like this every day all the time and so I think having this time to just figure out our kinks and work hard and just like see what this season can look like is this that's all we need like this is what the season that's going to look like just like that match against Baylor for example yeah you're having so much fun how, how would you describe how you felt on the court that day um it was like electric obviously playing in the PAV is like the best experience and it's the best like volleyball community there is I might be biased but I believe that and so um I think it was just like I was it's just exciting. I mean, I've never been in an experience where these people are rooting for me and so or us as a team. And so I was just it's electric. I would say that's the best way to express it. We're still kind of getting to know you, but mm -hmm. how did uh, kind of growing up in England, Nigeria impact like your volleyball career? I think it's just perspective and just like I think also with just transferring, I've been in different programs, different coaching, different people. And so just different cultures is just Everybody's from, we have a teammate from Turkey or just teammates from the Midwest, just different cultures, I think. Just being able to adapt to new people and new, like, how to talk and how to communicate with people, has, that's probably helped me the most, is just getting to know different people for who they are. What's it like playing for Keegan? I think it's an awesome, I've been, I've loved it so far. I think also just, it's the support staff, Keegan, everybody, they work really well together. And so it's been a pretty awesome experience so far. Do you notice that Keegan has a different kind of style of coaching compared to other people you've worked with? I think... Yes and no. I think, I think he blends in with like what I've had in like just like both aspects of like former coaches I've had or just like um, former staff that I've been work I've worked with. I think it's not that different, but it's been a little bit different. I don't know how to. <laughs> I don't, it's like everybody's different. He's a different person, so it's going to be a bit different than what my other coaches have looked like in the past. Can you talk about how the team has responded to losses versus? I, I imagine that you've seen a little mm -hmm. bit of a difference when your first two matches you have that feeling now you have this what have you noticed from people who have been here maybe are playing leadership roles how do you process that kind of thing and then move forward I think a big thing for our program has been commitment is not conditional and so we're kind of responding to everything the same way like if we were to like start doing excessive stuff now it would be like why weren't we doing that stuff before and so I think we've responded obviously we're going to get back in the gym and we're going to do the same things we did after the win and just get back at it and so I feel like it's just been pretty much the same but we we want it more yeah. so yeah are there some things you've learned about the team so far early on yeah I think um I mean I think everybody wants it it's just um we're we're still working on our kinks and we're just going to keep going after it and just figuring out how we mesh because there's this new group new people lots of new pieces and so we're just figuring out how we all mesh together Thanks, cool. Sweet. Thanks, Sorry if I talk too fast. No, no, no. <laughs> no, here. Kylie, is there in a strange way, are there positive things that come from two tough losses that you guys are coming off of? Absolutely. I think when things like this happen, there's two ways to look at it. You can either dwell on it or you can be like, good. Like, respond with good and just see what we can learn from this and take all the things. And I think in the end, it's going to make us a better team. How do you sense bouncing back with this group? I know it's early in the week, but how do you sense everyone's bouncing back? Good. I mean, everyone's in the locker room now. Lots of smiles on everyone's faces. Like, a lot of people ready to get to work today. Um, I don't see this being a problem. I think this is honestly good for us, and I think we're going to learn a lot from this. We're all This is a brand new team, lots of new pieces. So I think just getting used to each other and figuring each other out is what we need to do. Cool. Obviously, you came in here and transferred with Phoebe. What have you seen from her in the first four? I love Phoebe. I think she's a monster out there, and she'll get a big block and, like, flex her muscles, and she gets me so excited, and I think she's a beast at the net, and I've loved playing with her so far. You're a student of volleyball. What do you see from the team so far? What are the things that you're looking at and saying we need to improve in this area, or what are the strengths that you're seeing so far? Yeah, I think we every day need to work on serving and passing. I think we're missing too many serves right now, but, but it's because we're going for it, and I think eventually we'll find our groove, and 
those aggressive serves are going to turn into really good things for us. But um, I think just every day working on passing and just finding the connection with one another, whether that's passer to setter, setter to hitter, I think just every day really dialing in on the connections that we're having with one another and then chemistry and those connections will take us a long way. Kind of piggybacking off that, what's one area where you love where you guys are playing right now? Yeah, um, preferably a little bit on the defensive end. I think we're keeping some balls alive and people are really going at it. So. Personally, I like the defense and I like that we're making good moves and we're seeing a lot and we're working together with our blocks. So. Is, uh, you have no choice in the schedule you play. Mm -hmm. Does the challenge provide something for you or there, is there ever a morning where you're like, boy, I wish that we weren't facing another slew of top Yeah, I mean, there is days where I'm like, oh, this it would be mm -hmm. nice to go into the gym a little bit more confident, but I think this is good for us. I mean, we're going to see this in the Big Ten, and I think if we were just playing some teams that we could roll over right now, we wouldn't be learning any of these things about ourselves. And I think that's going to be ultimately what gets us to December and gets us far down the tournament. So I think as much as it might suck to lose a little bit, it's going to help us in the end, and we're learning a lot from it right now. Cool. I'll keep going. Yeah. More, um, just about the sort of the competition that you've seen is obviously very high, but are there things that you see that are maybe self-inflicted as opposed to the opponent? Do you know what I mean? When you're learning, is it about learning about yourself and what you can do better as opposed to necessarily the competition? Yeah, I mean, when we come into the gym, we're not even going to be thinking about the other teams. There's a lot of things that we need to fix on our side of the net before we even start worrying about what the other team is doing. So I think just really focusing on ourselves is going to be important and focusing on what's going on on our side of the net because I think we have the talent to beat a lot of teams. So if we can figure out ourselves, the other teams should be the second concern. With a few games in now, have you seen like a more of a deeper connection among the team, a more of a dynamic established? Absolutely. I mean, I think with every game, every practice, every day, we get to know, like we're with each other, we get to know each other better. And like we're getting, still getting to know Keegan, me especially. So just trying to see everything through the same lenses is something we're all trying to get on board with. And right now I think we're seeing it a little bit differently. And I think that's why we're having some of our ups and downs. But I think with more time and just more work, like we're going to start seeing it through the same lenses. Anything else for Kylie? Thanks. Cool. Yep. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm.